Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the G1 Sniper 2 Z68 motherboard and this is the Gigabyte Touch BIOS hybrid EFI technology software as you can see it is sitting on the desktop it is basically like like any other software you run on Windows and uh, but of course it is a hybrid EFI and you can actually access a lot of the features that you saw on the BIOS uh, that we, if you look at our previous videos in the G1 Sniper 2 uh, review and uh, first have your actually if you have see the touch BIOS means that you can uh, they named it after uh, the fact that you can actually use this uh, on a touch screen system so you can actually move these around well I'm just using the mouse now but just to kind of utilize it showing you that's why the icons are a little too big for desktop if you're uh, that's why it looks like that and of course the overclock first one we're going to take a look at uh, the features we can find inside here, here we have the BIOS version as F4B of course we have the default values loaded also shows you, shows you the CPU temperature and the vCore as well as the DRAM voltage right there similar to what we found in the BIOS you can see the MIT current status of course it is much faster now it doesn't uh, is running in Windows. Easier to navigate. The previous page is on there. The advanced frequency setting. Here you can adjust your overclock your CPU clock ratio or your multiplier. Just leave it at default. And also your base clock. See there you can enable it and then adjust the frequency. Of course your system multiplier from uh, similar to the bot the uh, traditional bot you can set it from uh, eight so 21.33 and the internal graphics clock let's go back and next is the advanced memory setting you can set individual timings at the top see these are actually the sub menus We're setting each individual timing or much easier if your uh, memory supports memory profiles XMP profiles you can just load it like that and the RAM timing schedule, quick expert. Of course, the same options you can find on the uh, previous uh, in the in the original boss. I'm going to try now. I haven't hit apply yet, so I'm going to click previous page and see if this cancels uh, my the settings I changed. Yeah, let's go back in again, and it didn't. I think it retains until you exit a program or save CMOS. It retains that, so you can actually. Uh, even if you don't save it right now, you can still go back, change, make changes here, go to a different menu and go make changes again, and uh, save it before you exit, and it will retain that information. So let's just uh, put this back to what it was. Do everything in auto, and the next, uh, actually previous page is the voltage settings. Here you can adjust the multi-step load line. Calibration up to 10 levels, similar to the one in the traditional BIOS. CPU V core. From uh, this is actually much faster now than in the BIOS because you were scrolling up to 0.005 uh, uh, volts, all the way up to 1.5 from the default. It will take a while because you can't just type in a value. In here, it's much easier since you're using a mouse. So it's just that uh, dynamic V core. You can also adjust that the voltage. From 0.6 to 1.53. See, all the values are actually exactly how you would find it in the BIOS. And uh, it's a link setting, are just these two asynchronous support and the VT support. And see the boot disk. Well, it's just, uh, just your boot options here for what you want to quick boot. Uh, CD DVD boot option and first uh, the uh, boot device which I have hard disk CD-ROM uh, and uh, I have here the USB or the floppy disk drive for the third boot device These are priorities but you can actually uh, in the under integrated hardware is where you will set each individual hard drive for example if you have multiple hard drives installed you can select which hard drive you want to boot first or second or third etc and of course the other features here, HDD smart capability, CPU ID Max 3, uh, hard drive delay, full screen logo show, 
it's with the this is the uh, G1 Killer logo at the beginning when you when you do a post screen and of course the uh, onboard VGA options underneath. Let's uh, go back. Actually, uh, now uh, I've encountered a bug in this uh, Touch Buy software currently. If I click on the PC status uh, option here, it will hang the program. But uh, fortunately, it is since even though it, you're adjusting uh, BIOS options, it wouldn't crash. It won't crash your system if you even if you do that. It just you can just basically close it and just run the program again. That's one good thing about having a hybrid EFI software rather than a uh, integrated EFI uh, uh, e hybrid EFI implementation. So if uh, just in case it there's a few bugs, it won't completely corrupt your uh, settings. So let's try that. I'm just gonna show it quickly just, just uh, for those who are curious. And uh, hopefully uh, Gigabyte fixes th this in a later version. So as you can see, you can hear the fan ramp up as it's doing that, and uh, I'm assuming it has to do with the fan uh, fans here because I can't. Of uh, course, see it's uh, frozen. You can see the, the busy sign from uh, Windows. It will actually. I tried waiting for this after a few minutes, and it just really, it will never recover. So, whenever this happens, uh, and if you if you're encountering this issue right now, just I would suggest just close that program, just run it again. No issues there. No uh, won't affect your performance at all, and you can just easily go back in again. Similarly, as you can see, everything's working except for the PC status. I'm not going there again, and uh, it is this icon right here. So just I'm just gonna continue on with the overview and avoid that button right there completely. But basically, if you go to the overclock uh, window here, you can see most of the pertinent information anyway. And let's go, uh, what's the next one? The integrated hardware. Like I mentioned here, you have the hard drive options. Um, extreme hard drive, you can enable or disable it. Uh, for your, when to set the rate X, 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 XHD, HDI mode. Of course, the optional ROM UI and the banner set at three port native. And the USB controls as well. You can enable or disable the controllers. Here's another. Uh, front or rear, you can actually disable both the uh, Etron chips, uh, whether you want the front one or the rear one, or you can enable both, which is actually default, both are enabled, and the GSAT 3 controller, and of course the mode you want to use it to run it at, uh, IDE, HCI, or RAID, and uh, the, what's the previous page, I think that was it, uh, power management is the last one here, uh, which is the same exact same option again as the BIOS. See if you have your power on uh, by LAN or power on by mouse or keyboard. AC backup function and ERP support. Previous and let's see. I mean, it's basically the same. Either you can go through there or go through these tabs right here. Power management. Except uh, what it does, what you can't see in these tabs here is that you have the. Uh, load optimized defaults, set supervisor password, and the at BIOS. Now, at BIOS is actually the equivalent of the uh, Q flash utility we've we've looked at. Q flash utility is within the traditional BIOS, but at BIOS sits on your desktop. See, so let's click that and see uh, what the program looks like. See what it looks like. It's a just a simple program where you can even update the BIOS from a gigabyte server. Just download it. Make sure you have internet connection. Uh, plugged in and you have to update BIOS from file, save current BIOS to file about at BIOS and uh, just here you can clear DMI pool data and load CMOS default after BIOS update automatically it will do that for you so that's a, a pretty cool feature and also shows you of course the uh, the the uh, BIOS current BIOS version you have installed at F4B and the BIOS vendor and flash memory size and let's see at the bottom, of course, this is another nice feature I have is you can take a screenshot of your BIOS, which you can't do with the traditional BIOS. Uh, since this is the, an EFI, you can just take a screenshot and post it online, like, you know, share with your friends how you, how you did your overclock settings. It's much easier to do. And the modify icons, where you can enable or disable uh, icons that are displayed there. For example, I'm going to disable the PC status because it wasn't 
working so I don't accidentally click that and you know freeze my uh, dash bias software there we go works completely and also in here you can uh, bookmark see the uh, right now is grayed out but if you enter a, uh, a feature you see there you can bookmark particular ones For example I'm going inside the uh, frequency setting and I'm gonna bookmark that and then home go back to the main one and although I'm trying to access that where do I access the bookmark Let's see nope I have no idea how to recall the bookmark so maybe I'll read the help later on and figure that out not important because it's easy to navigate anyway and also you have the restart function here but of course before you do that if you've made changes make sure to save the CMOS here right at the bottom it might be hard to see because it's gray and it's all colored gray part of the bezel but it is active as you can see for us over there save CMOS and then restart the computer or you can just can close the program and cancel everything completely that you may change any changes you have made uh, here's the help button now here's the live update where you can connect to the uh, gigabyte servers and information just basically the uh, program version this is the touch bias b11.0623.1 so maybe if you see uh, if you're running a newer version than this the issues that we encountered here might be fixed already so thanks for watching and let's continue with the restory uh, g1 sniper 2 z68 motherboard review